You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, which is the fifth and final video in a five part series about the five different civil engineering disciplines, we will be diving into the world of water resources and environmental engineering, a very interesting field. If you've ever wondered what this field is all about or what a water resource or environmental engineer actually does, well then you're in the right place right here. We'll be exploring the different responsibilities of water resource and environmental engineers, the qualifications needed to apply for water resources jobs, and the typical responsibilities that come along with these roles. So whether you're a student considering a possible career in water resources or environmental engineering, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about this exciting field, stay tuned for an informative and engaging discussion on this topic. This video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. Before we get started, I just want to mention, especially for those of you who already took your FE exam or are getting close to taking the exam and are thinking about taking the civil PE exam next, that we did a complete series on our Pass the PE Exam YouTube channel about each of the five different PE civil depth exams in detail explaining the topics covered on each of the exams and what the pass rates are for each topic to help you in your decision. You can check it out on our Pass the PE Exam YouTube playlist at youtube.com forward slash at Pass the PE Exam called Civil Engineering Disciplines. Let's start by looking at what water resources and environmental engineering is all about. Water resources and environmental engineering is a branch of engineering that focuses on the study and management of water resources and the natural environment. This field combines principles from a range of disciplines, including civil engineering, environmental, science, hydrology, geology, and ecology. Each of these disciplines are separate, but they sometimes get talked about or discussed together. Water resources engineering involves the planning, design, and management of water supply systems, wastewater treatment facilities, and stormwater management systems, right? When it rains, the water's gotta go somewhere. This includes the construction and maintenance of dams, reservoirs, pipelines, and other water supply infrastructure. Environmental engineering involves the study of environmental systems and the development of solutions to protect and improve the quality of air, water, and soil. This includes the design and implementation of pollution control systems, waste management systems, and remediation plans for contaminated sites. And there are a lot of contaminated sites out there that need help. Overall, the field of water resources and environmental engineering is focused on managing the Earth's natural resources in a sustainable and responsible manner while addressing the growing concerns around climate change and environmental degradation. This is a really exciting industry and there's a lot of work to be done here in the coming years. Now, let's take a look at some of the main responsibilities of water resources and environmental engineers. Water resource and environmental engineers perform a variety of tasks related to managing and protecting water resources and the natural environment. Some of their main responsibilities include the following. Designing water supply and treatment systems, Water resource and environmental engineers design and develop systems that provide clean water for human consumption, agricultural use, and industrial processes. They also design systems for treating wastewater and stormwater to ensure that they are safe for release into the environment. Developing sustainable water management plans. 
water resource and environmental engineers are responsible for developing plans and strategies for managing water resources in a sustainable and efficient manner. This includes assessing water availability, developing water conservation plans, and implementing strategies for water reuse and recycling. Again, an exciting industry. This is actually what my wife does. She's also an engineer, and it's really, really interesting work. Conducting environmental assessments. Water resource and environmental engineers assess the environmental impact of proposed construction projects and infrastructure developments. They conduct environmental impact assessments to identify potential environmental risks and develop mitigation strategies. For example, if you're building a bridge over a water body, they have to make sure that the fish won't be greatly disturbed. Developing pollution control systems. Water resource and environmental engineers design and develop systems to control and mitigate the impact of pollution on the environment. This includes designing wastewater treatment systems, developing air pollution control systems, and implementing solid waste management plans. Conducting research and development. Water resource and environmental engineers conduct research to improve the understanding of the Earth's natural systems and develop new technologies to better manage and protect water resources and the environment. Overall, water resource and environmental engineers play an absolute critical role in developing and implementing solutions to some of the world's most pressing environmental challenges. Again, talk about an exciting and very challenging career. The typical qualifications needed to apply for water resources jobs are as follows. A bachelor's or graduate's degree in civil engineering, environmental engineering, or related degree in science or engineering and equivalent experience. Experience with water resources protocols such as work in sewers, erosion control, sediment control, surveying, and pipelines. Comfortable collaborating with others to create cost estimates and solve real world problems. Fluent in quality analysis and able to lead. I hope you found this week's video helpful. Remember that you can find links to all of the past videos in this series in the description of this video. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Past the FE exam, we'll publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions regularly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments that I'll read and respond to in future videos. So if there's a specific topic you want me to cover or a question that you need answered, pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week.